Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Most top load washer repairs will require some disassembly of the appliance. Before you attempt this, be sure to unplug the power cord. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws, securing the rear control panel. Lift the panel up to remove. You can now detach the control housing to access components like the control boards, the water inlet valve, and the noise filter. When the repair is completed, reposition the control housing. Slide the rear control panel into place and secure it with the screws. To access the drain pump and hoses, remove the screws securing the rear panel. With the screws removed, pull the panel out to detach. If you need to replace the drain pump, release the retaining clamps securing the inlet and outlet hoses to the pump, and pull the hoses off. Use a 10 mm socket to remove the mounting bolt securing the drain pump to the base. Disconnect the wire connector on the base and detach the drain pump wire sleeve from the tabs. Untwist the retaining wire securing the wire bundle to the frame and disconnect the wire connectors to fully release the old pump assembly. Install the new drain pump assembly by aligning it on the base. Then replace the mounting bolts to secure. Now connect the new wires to the connectors on the side panel. Secure the wire bundle to the frame with the retaining wire. Secure the wire sleeve in the tabs on the base. And reconnect the wire connector closest to the pump. Attach the inlet and outlet hoses to the appropriate ports on the new pump. And secure them with the retaining clamps. Reposition the rear panel and replace the screws to secure. To access components like the rotor, stator, and clutch assembly, you will need to set the washer on its rear panel. Before you attempt this, shut off the water supply. Next. Remove the hot and cold water supply lines from the inlet valve. If you wish to replace the clutch assembly, you'll need to remove the inner tub. To do this, use a putty knife to help release the retaining clips, securing the main top. Lift up the main top and support it. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove all of the mounting screws securing the tub ring.
With the screws removed, pull the tub ring off. Use a small flathead screwdriver to help pry off the wash plate cap. Now use a 10 millimeter socket to unthread the wash plate mounting screw. Lift off the plate and slide off the washer. Use a 38 millimeter socket to loosen and remove the tub nut. We recommend using an impact wrench to do this. With the nut removed, lift out the inner tub. Now remove the support. Lower the main top and snap it into place. Carefully tip the washer back so it rests on the rear panel. Now use an adjustable wrench and strike it with a hammer to help unthread the rotor mounting nut. With the nut and washer removed, carefully pull off the rotor assembly. Now use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the mounting bolts securing the stator. Carefully set the stator down and use a small flathead screwdriver to help disconnect the wire connectors. Next, disconnect the diverter motor wire connector. Use a 10 millimeter socket to remove the mounting bolts securing the motor to the outer tub. Detach the motor from the actuator arm. You can use a towel to help prop up the outer tub. Then use the 10 millimeter socket to remove the screw securing the rotor shield. Remove the screw to release the grounding wire. Then set the shield and wires aside. Now remove the screws securing the support bracket to the clutch and bearing assembly and set the bracket aside. Next, remove all of the 10 millimeter mounting screws securing the clutch and bearing assembly to the outer tub. With the screws removed, you can now pull the assembly from the outer tub. Before you install the new clutch and bearing assembly, apply some liquid dish soap or rinse aid to the seal. Then insert the assembly into the outer tub, making sure the actuator arm is at the 3 o'clock position. Align the support and replace the screws to secure. Replace all of the remaining screws to secure the assembly. Next, secure the grounding wire. Reposition the rotor shield and replace the screw to secure it. If applicable, remove the towel. Reinstall the diverter motor by first hooking it onto the actuator arm. Now align the motor on the outer tub and replace the mounting bolts to secure. Reconnect the wire connector to the motor. Reinstall the stator by first reconnecting the wire connectors. 
align the stator on the clutch and bearing housing, and replace the mounting bolts to secure. Replace the rotor assembly by aligning it on the shaft. Replace the washer, then re-thread the mounting nut. Torque the nut to 88 foot-pounds. Confirm that the tub outlet hose is securely attached to the outer tub. Then return the washer to its upright position. Release the retaining clip securing the main top. Then lift up the main top and support it. Replace the inner tub. Confirm that the tub washer is in place. Then re-thread the tub nut and tighten. Slide on the tub nut washer. Realign the wash plate on the shaft. Tighten the mounting screw to secure it. Realign the cap on the wash plate and snap it into place. Realign the tub ring. and replace the mounting screws to secure. Remove the support. Lower the main top and snap it into place. Reattach the hot and cold water supply lines to the inlet valve. With the appliance fully reassembled, turn the water supply back on, plug the power cord back in, and your washer should be ready for use.